Hello, and welcome to an happy silent video. <laughs> okay. We're in the corridors of green, and we're going to make some green. Half green, though, for some Half reason. Half green. It's like, it doesn't go on oh, the yeah. outside wall. I mean, the decorator of this place wouldn't have um, been allowed into Mirror's Edge. For God's sake, open the silo door! They're coming for us! It's our only Your help! Yoink. Oh my God, we're doomed! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're quick punch in the face. Punch him right in the face. Yeah, we gotta try and get in there later. Yeah, but mm -hmm. gotta have first of all, big games. Go have that. Like, oh, the first one of these. Oh, can you break that fire? I think you can actually. Oh, nope. yeah, you Oop. can break that one. And that shuts the door on you. Yes. <laughs> Actual real. A, a thing. Things. Yeah. I guess. Is that actually like? If we just screwed ourselves in some way by shutting the door on us. There's a turret. Where is it? Can you die already? There you go. Teleport to okay, K-Crab. Well, as they do. They're not going to take that right off. There's no spot. Are you just hitting the trigger <laughs> multiple times? No. They just like to keep you on your toes. I'm having yet more things coming. Oh, you. That's good. the first time we see a Spec Ops guy. It's not Spec Ops, this is a regular guy. Well, you know, well, yeah, whatever, a guy. Spec, a military, spec Ops, a, spec ops a comes later. Dude. Break all these crates. Yeah, apparently I don't need. Let's say a member of the opposing force. Yeah. Explosives. Crap. Get him. No, that's the wrong one. Get him. Oh, get him with, I didn't mean get him with your face. Well, I was trying to play and switch weapon because I still can't remember which way is. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, you fucking headcrabs, get out of here. <laughs> get him with your face. trip mines. Well, this one. Oh, I think you could. Can... Oh, alright. Just, just... Oh, that was a. Weak <laughs> wrists. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I can help the place. Like, hey, they have quite a long range. Yeah, the explosion, like the hurt range, is always longer than it looks in this game. Always, always was. It always used to annoy me that. I mean, I know it's probably accurate. Or, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you don't want to be anywhere near any form of explosion generally. But wait, how do we get in here? Does it look like oh, there's a back door? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to look for the obvious things. Hey, what the? Oh, no turret. Oh, but it's on a. Yeah, it's on a trip. Tri tri or if you shoot it. <laughs> you take quite a lot of bullets <laughs> for the pistol. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> Just explode it. Oh, no, no, the fucking number one. <laughs> they really love. Double spawns at the moment, apparently. I reckon that's something that's gone a bit awry, you know. No, I don't think so. No, still turret. There. Okay, two turret shots. I'll remember that for Peter. Get into the double barrel it. Yeah. Ah. God damn it. I think actually fit through that. Let's hope you can Directly down. Yeah, I think it must be below. Oh! And it. Oh! Not two big grabs, actually. <laughs> See, that time they both came at once. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I had a fifth one. No, I had a fourth. I had a fourth. And a fifth. Don't just keep coming. Stop it. I don't okay. want these trigger. No. Oh, fuck it. Apparently not. No, nope. <laughs> they're just there. No, was, uh, what's that noise? It's just the alert system. Same things. <laughs> <laughs> the classic wet floor where it's just slippery. They actually just made it slippery. Oh, right. You actually do, like, have some slide on it, do you? Yes. Because cause it's green ish fluid. One maybe? Yeah, there it is. Behind it. Whee! <laughs> so weak, Kristen. 
Gordon. Yeah. Definitely sucks. Oh. Shit. <laughs> what happens if we had, like, cl close the door on ourselves? Do we actually get stuck, or is there, like, a way out? I don't know. Maybe. Start quick saving. Well, that's your job. Is yeah. it? You have All to right. reach over and press F6 uh, occasionally. Oh, yeah, there you go. That works. Actually, we have to speed round the section again. Yeah, well, I mean... Last, thank God you're here. What's he doing? Look at, that, look, wait. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> he was all, I was so why did you kill that Merc? Like, we didn't know he was bad yet. Well, he was meant to be shooting that guy, but it just hadn't, like, triggered properly, so the Merc guy started running off somewhere else, and I was like, no, I guess I'm better kill him before he starts shooting me. Well, this guy was... Well, well this guy, guy in the corner was just casually dancing. Yeah, maybe the Merc guy just really, like, really liked his, his dance. Meh. <laughs> suppose I better start using it. <laughs> Oh, he's okay. He's done with dancing now. Yes. <laughs> abrupt doors. Sometimes. Sometimes abrupt. Sometimes real slow. Like... <laughs> you any head crabs for me? Oh, a load of doors. Make sure I'm not stuck in the floor before you save. <laughs> Probably shouldn't save while I'm moving, though. Okay, good idea. I'll save that then. Well, this is the point where I think also, like, you know, so you see the angle of how that gut, how you're holding your gun. Yeah. Like, I don't think the, where the angle of how this gun looks lines up with how the cro where the crosshair is. You see what I mean? He looks like he's holding his gun a little too low. Well, yeah, it is a bit crazy angle. And I bet he's now wondering, is like, is Counter-Strike always been a bit, like, this, that, Probably this, this exactly angle like as well? Us. Yeah. Well, I mean, original Counter-Strike, anyway. Yeah. And the music's back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, this is the first time you're properly fighting the mercs, right? They're not mercs. Well, what is, who are they? What do you call them? They're actually the US military. Okay. Well, I'll call them mercs. It's easier. Use my shitty arrow. Hooray! Click. <laughs> Fancy give stakes. Mines are back. Wow. And some turrets. <laughs> of course, the question here is, is like, I guess we can't go back and go to any of those back rooms we accidentally. Well, I think this is all going to loop around because you have to open that front door where the guy got killed. Ah, uh, right, inside <laughs> the silo door. Yes, yeah, so you have to get out of here. Bitby's now wondering about leaving like, as many trip mines and barnacles behind as you can, just to like in case someone. <laughs> in case someone, they run into it. Yeah. yeah. Not down here, though, presumably. <laughs> sometimes these crates are empty, sometimes they have mystery office supplies in. We can probably go over here, right? Or can I not I run fast enough? Well, I can actually. I reckon this is actually where you have to go. Probably. If you want to avoid the trip mines and not just shoot them. <laughs> there any guns in here, though? No. Okay. No. <laughs> it's always ventilation. Mock, yeah. Like sometimes these crates just break instantly. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> How is this even like? What? You've got this loading bay and then a little conveyor that goes through a room, but then up here you've got another conveyor that goes somewhere else. Well, and that that kicks stuff back to the loading bay. I guess brings it back. How do people like, get stuff in? Stuff apart out. from just the back door, you have to open the. Loading bay door. I mean, this is why I think it, it's, it's a secure environment, right? So, like, the yes. people never go inside the facility. The, the delivery guy. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. Okay, get rid of that then. You got the dude behind the sandbag? Got the dude. Shoot him in the backpack. Yep. There's the turrets that I didn't go to past the trip mines. <laughs> Bugs. Casual bug rooms. There's a third one actually under me, isn't there? Maybe. 
Well, well on its side, they're still beeping for some reason. No, I don't think they do. It's not like portal turrets. Oh, wait. Let's take a look. If we could sneak around, that could get out of that. Is that where we're supposed to be going? Just through, or is it too low? Yeah. Where is this third one? It's not actually under me. Oh, no. There it is. It's just there. You can just see its feet. No. That did it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Scientist getting shot. No kidding. No kidding, scientist looking black. <laughs> yep, you can tell. Just throw your cover. Oh shit. He threw a grenade somewhere. No shit, Bob. Ah. Oh crap, that's an explosive. It isn't exploding. <laughs> Damn it. Still for another grenade. Okay, we good. <laughs> it's very hard to walk over these slanted sandbags. Mm. It's just like it just doesn't like that shape of geometry. Plodding around the black mesa. I don't know why I'm singing the Christmas tunes. Well, it is almost almost Halloween, <laughs> which is the pre prequel to Christmas. <laughs> Accurate. All right, yeah, that works. Did it? Did it? Oh, how did you not die? So what's the spray like, do you reckon? I mean, do we have like, like, are we having like a flower reticles, do you reckon, that we just don't see? No, I think it's just probably fixed spray. Hmm. Like old school Team Fortress. Or like fixed pattern spray, like Counter Strike. Or... Well, could be. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> It's very unhelpful that the, the gun, like, the shotgun pops up directly in your field of view when you're trying to shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the reload. Well, not even on the reload, on the kickback. It's like, it comes, like, whip. <laughs> right, I see whether we were above where we were before now. Yes. For us. <laughs> you gotta get them to stick behind these rates. I can actually hold it down once we get into the right place. Machine Gordon. <laughs> so why, why are you not the on awesome the awesome power of the Hansen to yeah. allow you to swing a crowbar incredibly fast? I mean, why is he not on some kind of like. Shredding government secrets plan, <laughs> like division. I don't know if it would shred like a shredder. <laughs> what a spiky bit of a. If you, if you a hit crowbar, like just... a pile of paper with a crowbar, yeah. I'm not sure you'd do that much shredding. That's a bit crazy. Few things explode. And this this lift apparently decided not to go all the way up. Okay, so we're outside. Uh oh. Fades out. Of... Do we have points? Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe like throwing grenades straight upwards. <laughs> Ow. There you go, mate. So much camera shake. Where are you gone? Was that not the last guy? I don't know if there's a the leader dude who's out here somewhere. I saw him disappear for a moment. Two more in there. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Okay, apparently I got bombed. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Somewhere. Hello. <laughs> Ow. I remember past fighting was, was quite unquote invented in our life too. <laughs> Before that, nothing existed. 
He just needs the grenade back. Oh, he's got, he's got the martyrdom perk. <laughs> Except not because he wasn't dead. Yeah. He just leaves it and then runs away. Right. Got those 12 health points. Yep. I get it. Oh, no, wait, dude. Oh. No, not quite. Why has that even fallen? Can you even tell? No. Okay, can you get in that tower? Well, let's just run out here, I guess. Jump in this... Uh, okay. Hole. Probably where I meant to go. Because mm. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay, crabs. I'm just avoided. So regular crabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crabs. Keep coming. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he may be coming. It looked like it. I don't even remember whether. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing that happened. It's like from what, the monster closets. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> Apparently, I was too close to that explosion. <laughs> I would recommend a sharp pegging action. Oh dear. Oh dear. Too oh. sharp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just open the door first. That's supposed to happen, and I'll just keep the help of the Trigger the events of the correct sequence. Okay. Oh, hang on. That's just a break. Don't oh, pick up the dudes. I'm sure you could actually just kill them with a single shotgun blast, but he's not hitting them sufficiently dead on. Okay, well. So you're onto this tiny ledge. <laughs> okay, that's that room we were in before. This is this little bits of extra shit. It's a fake sound of a head crab. This is an incredibly inconvenient little... Yeah, like that. That we're talking about where you go to get to these things. Dead crab. Hello. Yep. <laughs> Another one? Nope. <laughs> about four will spawn from teleport. <laughs> I don't think they usually teleport into vents. I think they just spawn. Oh, we're back. Which one is that? It's got... It's got a health thingy in it. Oh, it's got a ladder so I can climb up. Ah. Battery. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Oh. Nothing in here. <laughs> nope. Just a dead guy. You know, you know, whatever this is meant to be. In a, bo <laughs> in a box. <laughs> it's just in a box. Oops. That's, uh, that's not how you open doors, mate. Just a life life hack where <laughs> shooting doors doesn't work. It's 
we, uh, presumably, should we try the long passage that before the last turn or go the, the other way? Six egg. Loading pulls. Oh, right. What does it do? I want the scientists to fight with their no guns. Because I've got all the guns. <laughs> You've got them all. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, so. Oh, it's made. Not, not that bothered. No. Nope. <laughs> He's in that corner. <laughs> There's nowhere for him to go. I guess nowhere, that's probably just yeah. to helpfully kill at least one of those guys in advance. You're supposed to break through these vents, do you reckon? Still can't see it. Nope, no. it's not unbreakable. Nope. Try again. Extremely long vent later. Can I buddy hop in this vent? <laughs> I don't think that's fast. <laughs> I was trying to judge whether that looked any quicker at all. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Poor chance to shoot through vents. Wait, this doesn't go anywhere either. Maybe that was the way. Can you bust these vents? Oh, or maybe something's about to happen. Normally you can tell the ones that you can bust because they look different. <laughs> mm. Also, I can't actually physically <laughs> no. interact with these in any yeah. way. Okay, well, let's go back again then. I'm still not convinced by this. That's the right way. <laughs> Can you jump on the vent here? That's what I was trying to do, but I don't think I can. I can't, oh, can't no. fit under it over. Mm. Can you open any of these little weird bits of fence? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I guess we must have to. There's that fan that we didn't go down past. No. Assuming you can't go down past it. Mm. Stopping this fan? I don't know. Do you blow it up? Or there doesn't seem to be anything obvious in here. Good, good. I thought you oh, might just, can, just sneak around it. Hey crabs. Oh, loading that vent. Do we go down to that bottom vent or do we assume that this is the right way and say through? This might be an extra, I think. Yeah, no, it's just shotgun shells. Another helpful alcove. <laughs> Little fenced off ledges everywhere. Yeah, well, whoever made those fences like conveniently forgot to remove the shotgun shells before they put it up and they were just like, oh, screw it. Seems to be quite a common occurrence at Black Mesa, just we accidentally fenced things off <laughs> and sort of left it there. Which makes me question the uh, quality of science that was happening. <laughs> well, you didn't know about guns. They do they don't know about fences either. <laughs> they knew about the sides, <laughs> not them. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Where... Okay, we're back at the the, the gib room. Well, so much oh, this guy's. Is... How is our guy here? Really bad. 
It's a, is Thanks, it? science man. <laughs> Silo buttons. Okay, so this is actually the way to go. So what is the other way? Is it just like another... Another shotgun shell cubby hole. Alcove. <laughs> another fence off alcove. Where does this go? Or does this just drop you back out? Nowhere. Wow, it's literally a dead end. <laughs> Amazing. World building. <laughs> 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 Actual, like, not every vent goes somewhere. No, but World then, building. Then why does this vent have a little extra bit on the end? Like, the dead end, the dead end nub, yeah. <laughs> they didn't measure the right length of the pipe, but they were just like, ah, it's fine. We'll just put it in. <laughs> Keep it. We don't need any more pipe. Because, I mean, it goes up to this wall here, I guess. Yeah. The, the, the vents don't actually go off the end. Did, did I think it just looked bad if they stopped? So it's like, let's just carry on. <laughs> Maybe. In this, or maybe it was like in this beautiful looking base. Maybe it was like in case they want to build something further out there. Mm. Blast pit. Oh, good blast pit. Squid, full squid out here somewhere. Working its way at these crates. Can I actually break this with the robot? Oh, I can. I can incredibly slowly. <laughs> also, another like you come through a door that says to sign it in. It's just it's just walled off. Yeah. We don't we don't go there anymore. Like Raven Hall. <laughs> Oh, it's shooting at a head crab. Head crab don't care. No. Wait, there's another one. <laughs> you can tell because it's still trying to shoot at it. Are you shooting the uh, bullets out of the air? Man? I don't think so. They just have real bad aim. No. Nope. <laughs> corner head crab. Zombies! I'm gonna say those, um. This place is just full of explosives. I'm gonna say those head crab scientist zombie things look a little bit like time splitters. <laughs> you want to be any more specific than that, or is it just I time mean, splitters? <laughs> I mean, the time splitters. Okay. Right, you know, the actual alien splitter thing, because they're like their sort of yeah, tor the torso is this. split open and then they have a hovering head. Okay, put this and go. So I'm pretty sure this just... it just goes. Oh, no, the lift is getting cut off. Burp. It was burp quite quickly, in fact. Burp. Not nearly as slow as I thought it was. What? what? I'd make you lose your stomach when you, as soon as you press the button. Like, what? <laughs> Very quiet lift as well. Oh, sound dogs. Oh, okay. Now, do we take the butt train or do we just run? Okay, okay. Uh, did both, are both routes viable? I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> attempt to try, try and use this train at all. Whee! Um, that did not kill it. Oh, okay, there it is. Sweet, guys! <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you just, just go, is the answer. That was it. A barrier and a singular head grab. Help, oh, bye train. <laughs> Dramatic <Yeah>. crash. Yeah. <laughs> um, that buffer seems poorly designed. Or is it, oh, it just buffs one side of the train for some reason? Are you going to do <laughs> Even the head grab. <laughs> Don't leave me! Okay, it's the first radiation. The first giant green pit of glowingness. Your, your first, um... And also another well-designed walkway. Yeah. I mean, it can't be pointed out, coloured lighting, but not but not dynamic coloured lighting. No. That's the important point. No, no, we saw it turned off. I'm not sure I'd want to get in a pipe which probably had radioactive gear in it. 
not that long ago. You have a guy account, you can tell. Yeah. It's not radioactive any longer, apparently. You made that noise and then looked to see whether your cat was there, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> see if you were annoying your cat with a ball squid noise. Oh, that one. <laughs> Come on. I think there's potential there for some cat irritation. Hmm, possibly. <laughs> You've got potential ball squid. Platforming. Incredibly quiet batteries for some reason. Now we're in the radiation. Mm. <laughs> so why would you... I mean, I guess I'm not even really going to question how the science of any of this happened in the first place, but like, why, why would you need a, a humongous vat of radioactive goop? Are you over there? You walk along that ledge to get over there? That'd be crazy. Is radioactive goop actually like a thing in real science? Like is it or is it is it like radioactive goop mean? just like 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 literal sludge. Radioactive sludge. Or well, is that I'm, something I'm sure that's you... just sort of made up by like science fiction? Well I'm sure any kind of sludge would be radioactive if it had radioactive stuff in it. It's just like it's... Yeah, but I mean like has, has there been any science real life science that has involved like Radioactive vats of sludge. Probably not for use in science, probably as a byproduct. <laughs> you probably don't start with a bunch of radioactive sludge and be like, now we're going to do science. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but like, even if you were just thinking, like, a, a, like I don't know, outputting barrel of something, and I'm not quite sure what that. Well, you, what that would typically, be. if you, yeah. I guess, if you, you, if you did have a giant pool of radioactive sludge, you wouldn't have it where someone would could walk. <laughs> uh, yeah. You wouldn't have a walkway inside the giant tank of radioactive sludge. Good job. Hello? Hello, really far green. away zombie. He's very green. No, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, that seems like there's now no platform to get that stuff, wherever that stuff was. Hello. How would you have known whether that platform was going to destroy it? How many platforms actually exploded in this game? Well, I guess that is the question. How do you know anything? <laughs> and, I mean, blow it all up. <laughs> Bosh. Oh, can you have, have, have a little... We'll blow this one up as well. Screw it. <laughs> Sack just on max destruct. <laughs> have you decided you're playing um, Red Faction instead? <laughs> she ain't <lying. laughs> I was like, I'm going to be too close to this. I was like... <laughs> what did you say? I'm going to be too close to this. So this what was that last word? Aren't I? Aren't I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Some reason in my head, I was like, I'm a little bit too close to this. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> okay. Got a jump to make now. Fortunately, this is a small one. <laughs> but probably still quite easy to screw up. Ooh. Oh, not too bad. Right, now we're getting to everyone's favourite first big moment of Half Life, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, I'm remembering now. <laughs> Yo, a zombie! <laughs> Jurassic! I can't hear what you're saying. I was at him dying. I was afraid to make this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we could have hit, hit, heard him at all, then maybe that would have had. Maybe that would have been slightly more helpful? Rather than just being. <laughs> Yo. I mean, he got a lot of momentum off that fairly gentle... Um, um, I'm not sure those models were entirely in sync with each other. No. Not yet. Dong, ding dong. Yo, Barnes. Um. Dumb. Okay. <laughs> Something was happening out there. Be quiet, you say. Blah, blah, blah. 
No, you. Oh, you killed him. Collateral. <laughs> what are you doing, man? All right. You big jiggly monster. <sighs> Wait for it to be done, and hide the grenade somewhere else. Just so he didn't pay attention to. No, he might have paid attention to it. Uh, let's get closer. <laughs> that was <not> pretty close. <laughs> um. Over there. <laughs> Spin on that. No, that's good enough. What about these crates? Blow them off as well. Yo! Whoa. That's not really going to happen to that one. I actually wanted the weak ass arm for it that time. <laughs> Sort of work to your advantage, I guess, because they're now hitting where your footstep was. <laughs> yes. Okay. Got through the first round of that. <laughs> oh. And now it's very quiet. <laughs> yes, now you go outside where the thing doesn't exist because of loading buff buffers. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You blow up the thing, but it's fine because there's the convenient pipes which are way hardier than this is the whole bridge. <laughs> With everything we're standing on. <laughs> Why has the mouse gotten weird? Oh, yeah, just it does that for some reason. Just blow out the sensor. Okay, now we turn on the rocket fuel. What is that noise? Uh, something. I don't actually remember. <laughs> To zombie. Making zombie noises. Is there another one? No, there is. <laughs> Didn't really um, give much thought to being shot, did he? That first zombie was just like, oh, this is new. <laughs> well, they're zombies. Out. They don't really care about anything. I don't think zombies have some reason to be. <laughs> or like they give themselves some self worth. It's like, I need to eat a dude. Oh, and, like, okay. I, don't, I don't know if they considered like the experience of being shot a uh, part of their life plan. Well, I mean, what did the headcrab zombies even do anyway? Because like, I mean, what, yeah, what are they for? Like, that's why that could be said for of any zombie. But well, but the thing like, is, like, do, do they like are they like alien? Do they like? Well, they're aliens, but like the. They, do, do they like incubate other head crabs in the torsos like alien or well I don't think so because like when you then go... what's the point of being a head crab zombie like how does it further your species well when you go to zen and you fight the head crab mother thing like it's just the whole thing about the head crab zombies is like just that they don't really it's basically like it's a parasite but it doesn't really have any specific purpose and then it's basically the first time it's infected humans essentially hmm so it's not like it's an evolved, you know. I guess it's just just a bit pointless. Anyway. Oh, they haven't worked. They haven't worked out what they're for. Because that's what happens in like Half Life Two Episode One or whatever, when like you get to the zombines, where it's just like it's a head crab that's on a combine, and the combine are different from humans. So it like it's a different thing slightly, but it still just basically does head crab stuff. <laughs> Okay, so now we switch this on and then run the back up there before the fan goes. <laughs> and then chuck. Because of physics, obviously. But it's hardly moving yet. It's quite a big fan, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it's time to fly to the ceiling. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It doesn't sound very windy in here. I'm just gonna, just going to say it. <laughs> you just get a like... Yeah. A fake... <laughs> Woo! Ah. 
Why would there be wood there? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Damn it. Why would these vents be so brittle? Well, I mean, vents being brittle, I mean, that's... I mean, but like, you wouldn't, like... I don't know, I don't expect to just... Yeah, one hit of a crowbar on, well, a, on, a, on, a, on a metal This is the ATV suit, the crowbar, like, as we oh, finished yeah, really okay, discussed. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Shredding crates. But these individual planks seem a little hardier than <laughs> most crates. It's true. <laughs> Half a vent. Maybe that's where they started for the name of this game, like Half Vent. Um, no, that's not very good. That specifically improves that. Well, we've got a lot of radioactive goop. Oh yeah, Half Life, that would work. Actually, I suppose I've never thought about the name of this game. Like, <laughs> you never thought that that was what it was referring to? Well, no, but I mean, not just that, but like Half Life as a name doesn't really have that much bearing on this game at all, really, is it? It's not about radioactivity no, or, half li or half life isn't cleverly woven into the narrative somewhere yes it's just it's just a name about science guns <laughs> and lots of radioactivity all over the place well, except we've had one lot of radioactivity yeah but there's going to be more <laughs> I think we can safely guarantee that okay well that's that on but it's not the crux of the game is it the crux of the game isn't like if this was like about Chernobyl it's instead of being like <laughs> like that other game like Stalker yeah. yeah then maybe Stalker could have been called Half-Life pretty and got away with it pretty good so don't get me wrong I, I like Half-Life as a well maybe like it's the name foreshadows where Gord what happens to Gordon Freeman past this point I guess he's not really living a full life <laughs> or Pretty much everyone in this place probably yeah, isn't living a full Pretty much life. everyone just dies. Let me see if I can attract it like upstairs. You know, you probably could have been like fine. Man. I could run. Oh god! Wow. You got me a little bit. <laughs> um. Now try and work out which side is better. It's clearly this side. Like you just got to do a jump. <laughs> I don't know jump. You can jump a lot further than you think. <laughs> yeah. Because this is Don't wait. <laughs> wait for the dink. Yo! <laughs> I'm eating green dudes. Yeah. <laughs> That's some coloured lighting going on there. <laughs> Be quiet now. <laughs> Turn off the beast. Another pipe. Slightly more inconvenient pipe, though. I, I don't know. I reckon you might be able to make that jump. Possibly. You don't make that jump. That doesn't look quite away. <laughs> Dials. <laughs> Science. Steam science. This must be a pain in the ass. Like when, look, like I, I don't remember the loading pauses being excessive, but there's quite a lot of quick ones in this in this area, right? Like there, you just li literally traversed like two loading pauses in less than thirty seconds. Sure, but they would have been short loading pauses because the amount of area they were loading wasn't as much. May I mean, maybe, but still, well, relatively speaking. <laughs> I can't really remember what the actual loading times were like back in the day. You look comfortable in the corner there, Mr. Science. Oh, what's going to come up on this elevator? Anything? Dun -dun -dun. Use that. Dun -dun -dun. That's, that's oh, what's going to come up. On. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's going to descend. It's down, apparently. It's down from the elevator parking spot, apparently. Okay, yeah. I feel like that elevator could have done with like a fanfare of some kind because it was moving so slowly and it was really quite proud of its entrance <laughs> with its lights turning on and everything like that. There's a ladder as well. I could probably could have just uh, oh. I probably could have just done the thing that I'm about to have to do, I guess. <laughs> oh, God, this is not a good angle to jump for. 
Wait, wait. <laughs> Spooch. Straight in the goop. I mean, the goop is thick enough that it doesn't splash in any way. No. Nope. A fellow scientist. What did you say? A fellow scientist. I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Smithers went down there and never came back. Smithers. Smithers. But what have you been doing in the meantime? Just looking at yeah. some dials in a radioactive <laughs> corridor. Uh, I mean, you know you're going to die from cancer anyway, so it's... Yeah. Oh, screw it. Also, you can't go anywhere, because there's like... We're in an HEV and that hurts us still. <laughs> well, it's only radioactive damage, though. That's probably like totally... Some, it's just the cancer again. <laughs> it's, just, it's just cancer. I it's hitting your... Oh, it's far. <laughs> Transparent textures, not transparent okay. <laughs> collision. <laughs> okay, um, now we get to use these things. Uh, Wee! Uh, More ridiculous industrial design going on here. <laughs> that one was moving pretty fast. I'm <laughs> just making Wee. sure this doesn't go over this bit. No, okay, good. <laughs> Wee! Oh. Wee! <laughs> get into this thing maybe? Yeah, you might. Um, is it, is it, am I just going to totally get murderized? Oh, no, it's, no, it's quite a long way out. It's just there to knock you off these ladders. <laughs> oh, there's Smithers. What's <laughs> up, man? This is my hiding spot, and I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away, and don't tell anyone I'm here. Drastically improved. Press the button and murder him. I'm gonna drop this thing in the in the in the thing, surely. No, it turns on the thing. Oh. Meow. I mean, it's probably still not gonna be enjoyable. I'm gonna poke it with some electric. And this giant plug. He said something. He said oh dear. Um He's doing all right. Yeah, he's fine apparently. <laughs> he's fine apparently. He's okay. Wait for the thing. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, you may have, like you, you have just murdered that guy, like because he can't. There's no way he can get down now. <laughs> I guess. Oh, could I have gone inside that hole? I didn't actually mm, look. I don't know. How would you get there? Let's just have a little peek. Not sure you'd want to exactly, no. but. Honk. Creep the creep again. Excellent. Someone has restored all power. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Style just spins. <laughs> Useful information. How does he? Why like? Well, I mean, what's going to happen to him? Like, and why did he need that thing turned on? <laughs> I mean, why does he think the engine is vital? What does he know about the giant death monster in the other room? <laughs> How did anyone even get past that? <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! Where did the death, that does... I mean, where did the death monster even get? How did he get there? Like, did it just teleport in? I guess. But yeah, I guess so. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> this is going to be full damage. It's probably safer than trying to jump onto this thing. Oof. So yeah, so what are you supposed to do that? Like, I mean, you can jump off the ladder onto that sticky avenue platform. Or you know, you can just use this first aid station right here. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, now it's electric. Yeah, naturally. Uh, can I actually maybe climb along this one? Oh, that's what these are for, right? Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and I got that slapped into position. Well, it's the, the push physics is weird in this game. You just get like so much force when you it's like when you're dragging things backwards, they kind of stick to you. But when you push things forwards, it's just like <laughs> you just fire them into the distance. Just using that uh, HEV crowbar power. <laughs> yes. The power of arms. What Nintendo are playing this? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
back in back in Dongland. Back in Dongland. Dongland. <laughs> I mean, they do. The, the, the they do look a little dongish. But okay, they quite dong. Quite. I mean, okay, they. I, I mean, they kind of don't. I'll take it back. But. <laughs> right, I'm going to grenade to your eight. <laughs> it's probably enough. Okay. Right. Let's start with over there. I might just leg it on this one. See if I can. Go. 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 Yeah, took him a bit of time. Up. <laughs> no shit, not there. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, that's a problem now. He's coming for it. He decided against it. Now down there. Go, 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 go. You need to peg it. But... Okay, no. Oh, God, that's close. Go, 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 go. No shit. Yep. And, uh, and loads of grenades. <laughs> Refill my entire stash of grenades. There was a lot of grenades in that room. Hello. <laughs> There's some barnacles turned up. Yeah. You can't even see it. How, how, oh, I guess it. However, they magically turn up. He just did. It's not like a gib steak that was temporarily like over the camera there. It's time for fire. How does this effect look? Not great, if I remember rightly. Mm, ooh, quite low frame rate. They decided to just animate a uh, a bitmap. Oh, it's like got two frames at the moment. Look at it. <laughs> it's quite Doomish, actually. Like a little bit. Like you know, you don't know how the explosions in Doom sort of look. Oh right. Wave. Yeah. That specific weird animation of those <laughs> weird explosions. Isn't yeah. It? Oh no, of course you could go under it. Yes, now you go down this big hole where it conveniently lived, apparently. I mean, how do we, as Gordon Freeman, know where the hell we're going? Like, I mean, we're we're going this way we don't. just because it's the only way we can. Well, that guess, guy and, and games. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to read probably that shoot because <laughs> I fell in a hole quite bad. Use the ladder. I tried to. There's a ladder right there. You moved I mean, so quick. I mean, it's a pretty awkward ladder, in fairness. <laughs> even if, even if this wasn't a video game and you could glue to it, it's like you know you've got to get to the ladder complex because that guy told you. <laughs> but then, like, I guess you know that maybe the rocket silo thing fires its exhaust into the ladder complex for some reason. I don't think maybe. Um. Is there anything else down here apart from this dead dude with a magnum? Oh, and another get dead guy. Another Einstein. However, they got here. <laughs> and the remnants of the of a bit of it. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm trying to have a quick look where I'm trying to even go. Pipes. Oh shit. Nope. Don't worry. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Mildly awkward. No, back in Goop land. No, it's the land of floating barrels. I remember this. The really badly animated floating barrels. <laughs> um, I need to get back up there. <laughs> nope, that's the back that's of the ladder. wrong side ladder. Normally it doesn't even let you attach those, I don't think. Some pipe action. Pipe dream. Um, okay. Mm, uh, oh, more pipes. Back up pipes. You've got to follow the river of barrels. Yep, <laughs> it's clearly these, leading you to victory. These octagonal barrels, for some reason. Well, no polygons. <laughs> these pipes I mean, are they're pretty octagonal. Better, I mean, they've had better barrels, is what I mean. It's like they didn't need to necessarily have just, like... I guess, like, yeah, they've just specifically animated moving along a track ones or whatever are just, like, lower poly for some reason. Well, there's much else going on in this area. <laughs> well, for modern standards, maybe, but... I mean, even by the rest of the game standards, I don't think. It's not like there's a room full of crates and dudes and... What did that do? Oh. That opened it. It extended this pitch black polygon. <laughs> Great. <laughs> maybe that's gone wrong, but who knows. Down. <laughs> um. Jump it, and you go through a little hole. And what, again, would probably have been a radioactive 
pipe of some kind at some point. Oh. Ow. Oh, shit, hey, Dad. Like, give me, because I've only got 24 health, except I've got 100 armor. So, not really. I'll give you some health. Oh, the, the table collapsed under your weight. Yep. Oh, the trip line. Oops, it. <laughs> oh, a trip line. Donk. <laughs> That's the, always the most helpful thing where you get a new weapon and it's like, oh, let's make you hold it for a minute. <laughs> um, no, you, you want to do that with this, I think. <laughs> Don't want to get too close to that one. Just trip mine in the box. <laughs> box. See now, like usually, like the batteries make sense, but like who's shipping trip lines to fucking black base? Mm. <laughs> like maybe a military research place, but what could you possibly be researching that involves trip lines? I mean, it must be. A, well, I mean, and a billion satchels if we're if we're talking about like what's in these crates. As <laughs> yeah, well. I guess all this random military. I mean, they gotta have some on, on site. What Barney? Oh, power up. Like, well, not necessarily Barney, yeah, I suppose you're right, Barney is the on-site, isn't he? But yeah. It's not like... Oh, it's this dude. With his flame for our hands. He looks quite interested in you. I was waiting for him to finish... Oh, oh yeah. there is a turret going yeah. for him. Still busy flame for all the dudes. Do we, is that the end of the episode? I guess so. I mean... We got, got uh, through uh, to we, a chapter. We, we, was that a chapter? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see what... It just it's... said power off. I said it. Oh. When it was on the screen. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I just didn't. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're done. We'll just stand here and stare down this guy for a little bit. Uh, take, a, take a pot shot at him for comedy bonus. I don't even know what... Do you care? Nope. <laughs> he don't care. No, not even slightly. He didn't particularly care about that gun for a long time that was gunning him in fairness. He was just sort of like, yeah, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm having it. All right. He's having it. Okay. So that's the thing for next time, this dude. Yep. This blue dude with a red face. Or glowy eye. I'm not quite sure at this distance. So I think it's a glowy eye. All righty. Uh, how are we putting stuff on screen? Um, some kind of... <laughs> well, what did you do in the first episode that I haven't seen yet? And that I haven't cut yet? Yeah, that you haven't made yet. Um, sorry. <laughs> So nothing thus far. <laughs> um, let's go with a barrel drop. Okay. Dong. <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you spend half of your life on social media, <laughs> we've got some stuff to add to that. Not much, though. I mean, not, we, not we, half we, your... we'll got to be about like a ninety-six. <laughs> if, like, if, if that, if that, it's like, <laughs> be a smidgen of a percent. <laughs> Smidgen's an SI unit. Yeah, obviously. So, yeah, do those things that are on there. You could probably spend a bit more time at happysalad.net if you wanted, because, you know, there's podcasts there Well, you could listen to the well. podcast on that page, yeah. Exactly, yeah. That would spend quite a lot of time. Yeah, that would, that would, I mean, actually, there'd be, like, at least 500 hours worth of content there. So, if you wanted to go back in time. Not as far as 1998, though. No. Can't do that. So, thanks, I guess. That's not very complimentary to the viewer. <laughs> thanks, I guess. Cheers.